Well, this truck's gone through a lot of owners, but we're finally getting to see the beauty on the inside. This is a modding tutorial that's going to go over lights, tailgate animations, and fix all the errors that we occurred in our last video on working on this truck. So if you haven't seen that video, go watch that for this is part three, my friends. In the last video, we very hastily put this guy in game so we could take a look and see what errors he was going to throw. And in this video, we're going to cover how to fix those errors and code everything up with the XML because we really haven't touched the XML that's how good this template is just throw your model in and for the most part so we will use the tilde key if you have your devs com dev commands enabled we'll scroll up to the top here using our uh, page up page down and we can read what errors were caused when we loaded up this mod and we can start working on those and the first thing I know for sure is gonna be the lights because we never actually coded up the lights I just deleted it in the prior videos and just threw my lights in and they're not in the right places and they're missing some so let's go through and learn how to do that this video is sponsored by me and was first released to patreon to support my work so thank you very much so from here we're going to have our xml of the vehicle open and we're also going to open up giants editor the the main i3d and from there we are going to sometimes you can cl click on the light and select it so this is our one of our upper breaks i'm going to rearrange some of these possibly to uh yeah from there open up the xml and let's look what it's going to call for our first light i'm going to leave these real lights this is what the light shines on the ground there is what's called static lights and then there is real lights and real light is what actually allows you to see so our first default static light. Now I do believe that I deleted these from the very bottom down. No, I did not. No, I did not. At the bottom of every mod, most mods, is going to have these i3D mappings. And these i3D mappings are to clean up the code, basically. Uh, where it says reverse light glass static, this node is going to match up in your i3D with some shader. In my last video, I just went through and blatantly deleted all these. So uh, <laughs> they're not here. So we need to wire in our own. And there's two methods of doing that. So this one would be upper break. We could go through and basically create our own i3d mapping did i click on the name nope <laughs> oops so upper break and then we would click on the index path here and this very slow process would be it and we would go down the line you just duplicate this and go to the next one and because i'm showing you guys on my pc with one screen i normally would have two screens up to where i could bounce back and forth between the two much like this it makes it a lot easier than having to uh, fight your view angle I guess I'll set it up like that right now for you. All right, so default red, and I'm going to basically go in and just update the nodes and the names and just keep duplicating all these lights here just like this. And then once we get that done, we will scroll up to the top. Uh, I'm not sure which one this one is. Let's give it a name so we know. Um, break, I'm just gonna call it red break. These names really don't matter. This is just what you assign it. So if you wanna call something red break and assign it to 112 node, then good. Next would be our headlights. And off camera, I'm going to continue doing this so I don't bore you to death, my sirs, uh, because I have a few more to go. And as soon as I get that done, I will bring it back up and show you how to code the rest of it. Now with everything all coded in here, oh, and I think I messed that one up, didn't I? Yes, I did mess that one up. Default red should be one one. Never mind. I'll be back in a second. No, we're good. One, two, three. Perfectly. If they're in order, it's really nice because you can count them. All right. So let's go up and start messing around with installing these code. Since it's identical with the i3D, we can basically use that as reference. So let's do our turn lights first because this seems a lot simpler to start off with. If you know which ones you want to be your turn signals, these are all from the prior mod. So, so my left turn, my left blinker is going to be this bad boy. And we'll just use his name. And the intensity is how bright it's going to be. So zero being not bright at all 100 being hurt your eyes and then we will do the same thing with the right blinker but we will obviously change that to ar so it matches it and i'm going to increase the intensity on that one because on the prior mod it used a different used a different one okay now we'll go on to our reverse lights and for me that is going to be what's called the white side headlights that's just what i named it you could have yours named whatever depending on your choices but in my i3d mappings this is what i have it saved as so it will properly show now and we're going to use a 50 on that because it is reverse light now for brake lights this is where you can get kind of 
personal choice. I mean, I, I have yet to look at a video and seen what are actually what for brake lights as far as uh, on this type of truck. So I'm just going to assume that the upper brake is going to go off when we hit our brakes. And then we're also going to do probably not our default red, red brake, that one. So those ones will shine bright when we apply our brake. And moving on up here, you see you got your high beams, your backlights, and your default ones. So we're going to go through and clean this up to where I, I don't have any of those shader nodes. I think I just have a few shader nodes. We'll take a peek here. Headlights. So this is going to be our first one, probably what we would call our default static or where this one is labeled. And what these mean here is light types. You can group the lights. So say if you wanted the only one brake light to work when your light sections were on, you know, when you're cycling through your lights and you can go high, medium, and low. Uh, like this one only has one light type state currently we'll install more so whenever it is in its only light type state it'll show that shader and moving on here to the next one i think that's all i really had for this side reds everything else should be uh oh we're gonna go our default red so you know the normal red lights that just come on when you're driving a car normally uh what i assume would be the back static we want those to come on when the vehicle turns on and maybe at a less intensity maybe like 15 and now our lights should work in game without having to mess with any of these real lights uh we could i had noticed something before We'll open this guy up full screen, show lights, and I just right click to show lights. And once you're done with them, you can hide it because it's kind of annoying to see them. And we are actually going to place these perfectly. So we're going to start with the parent, which is this one front light high, and then move the front light high one, which is the child. So let's go right here. We're going to place that right in the center of that light. And when we moved that one, it actually moved this one because it's attached to it. But this being the little, the child, it's not attached to anything so we can easily cycle through and I will use con control shift and C as I have this translate box click and I will click on high beam high and then I will use control shift and V to paste that light right where the other one is unfortunately it looks like these are kind of reversed it's so all that one ended up over there so I'm actually just gonna drag it back over this way if you start looking at these lights and there's there's just a lot of out of twack rotating stuff especially the child just zero those out or move that back over there do 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 like to zero everything out if you're taking these off of other mods or lights whatever it is there we go okay that should be all kind of lined up now uh, license plate holder we still don't have the license plate holder installed it's in there but we don't actually have the i don't think it's in the correct place license plate front yeah it would be messing up right there let's try to place that and this just spawns in what they call a dynamic uh, i3d and it basically it's a file that's inside the game that it just calls a license plate did we have a back one placed we want to have a hitch on future section so I'll try to put that right there maybe and from there let's hop back in I like that I'm gonna hit save I'm gonna open up my XML I'm gonna hit save and then I'm gonna load up in game and check and see if my lights work and here here we go back in game and obviously my lights are working that is just dandy I love that both blinkers are working I guess I didn't put play oh I'm gonna have to create some custom blinkers for back here because that light is two parts but our lights are working we do have some other errors though we need to tackle so now that we've purchased the truck we can do a lot more things and this is why I wanted to get the mod in game first because your modding will go a lot faster if you're able to enter the command we're gonna find it here I hit my tilde key to bring up this magical little interface right and then if you hit the tab key you bring it up and then you tap the tilde key again and then hit the tab key you can actually cycle through a bunch of cr uh, prior commands now one that I want you to know is GS capital vehicle capital reload and what this will do is it will reload the i3d and the xml so you don't have to sit there and rezip up your mod every single time and put it in game but your mod needs to be unzipped in your mods folder for this to work and it will just reload the mod so let's dive back into the xml fix some of these errors and show you how that works now each and every time you load farming simulator it wipes and creates a log this log can be found most times under your documents my games farming simulator 
Simulator 2022, located down here, log, txt file. This will delete itself and re-update every time you close the game and start it up again. I have it up and I have the latest report from my mod and all the errors that it made. And it's, it's, it's kind of overwhelming at first, I'm not going to lie, when you look at this. But it's really simple because it tells you what's wrong most of the time. Not always, but most of the time. Like currently what we have going on here is a repeat of an error. The same error index, so let's just hi highlight something here, index not found, 9.4, and then it goes on to the next one, 9.5. This is clearly something I deleted in one of my prior videos, but the thing about farm sim is if it runs an error, it'll try to run it again, and again, and again, and again, and make your log really overwhelming. The best way to do this is scroll all the way up to the top where you saw the mod purchase. You're looking for whatever it is .i3d, and this could be a hot minute forever because it looks like it's currently just repeating in the background forever. Now we're at the very top. You can see here where I loaded in my car template and that's where the error starts. So from here, let's start wiping them out one at a time. Fail to find child one from node moving parts, only one child given. The cool thing is, is it gives us this index right here. So we will just hit copy. I have my XML of the truck open up. I like to go to the very top, hit contr control F, hit control V, and then we're gonna hit find. And then we can go through and we can go, oh, that's why it's not there is in my prior video i actually deleted some of that so like the door handle the door part all these things i deleted and thing is, is did i delete it from the xml oh i probably didn't so before we go through and we know that all those errors for the most part are probably have to do with this back door since it's all relatively close to the same index nodes here let's make sure that other spots in your xml are not using these id maps because if you delete it here but the game's still calling for it elsewhere it's gonna mess up so door handle i like to double click it and then start scrolling through your uh, your xml or you can do a control f and if you see the word highlighted most time uh, we're having the issue in moving parts so moving parts would be right in this area nope i think i've deleted that so i think we are good to delete this whole section right here i think wait one wait one before i do stuff i always get nervous no not the back door so we need to keep the moving part back door that way our tailgate will go down not the back door so not that section but our new tailgate does not have a door handle it doesn't have any part reference frames or anything like that so we are just going to ditch that and if we have any issues the game will tell us in the log next time let's move on to the next one so we fixed this one we fixed that one we fixed that one you see it's all under that nine that index nine so it had to do with that back door a nine two did we fix a nine two did i don't recall fixing a nine two front tire axis that would be this one right here i did delete that i don't think i'm using that anymore let's go to our moving parts make sure that i'm not oh i am i am i'm not using this stuff anymore and it's going to make this tutorial kind of confusing Using. so we're gonna delete that and cause huge problems how about that that sounds like a plan you guys wanted a full-on boop there we go now you may get confused a little bit right you're going through here trying to figure stuff out trying to figure out what what the numbers are and you're basically just looking for index not found oh there's there's a different one that's a 12-2 so what would be a 12-2 12-2 would be mirror interior decals we don't have any mirrors or we only kept one mirror in our prior video we did so let's look at our mirrors yeah it's we we're we're gonna end up getting rid of these because we don't have sized ones so let's just actually remove them all but the what the left decals so that would be the 12 -0. we're gonna leave only that and then we need to scroll up to our mirrors section and ensure that we only have the left one being called there because you can see it's using those nodes again all right mirrors mirrors can mess up your mod mirrors mirrors cause some issues um our next error is going to be index not found index well inside of this this template i do believe that there's a couple very obvious sections where you need to fill stuff out and i put the word index so we're going to scroll down till we see it like right here design configurations we don't actually have anything extra to add to this yet like a bull bar or maybe some flashers or anything like that so i'm going to remove this for right now in a fancy way i will highlight the whole tag design configurations i will right click on it and go block comment this will make it not exist to the game and then later on we can add it without actually having to get rid of the code super nice super convenient uh be careful about doing it inside of other like you see how this is blocked out here but it's not where the vehicle configurations well now if i hit block on this one look what it does is it it creates weirdness because it closes itself out and it creates itself 
it's 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 complex but you don't block other blocked out comments best advice i can give you okay now when it comes to the rest of these errors on here it's starting to repeat i'm i'm seeing the same numbers again that we've already went through and fixed or we think we fixed let's let me clarify that let me think because i like to do these in sections so it makes it less overwhelming so let's hit save on that let's just double check we're hitting save in here as well. Now that we have our truck back open in game here, we are going to hit the tilde key and reload it. And we should get the errors that are left. Okay, index not found. I obviously have another index hidden in there somewhere. And then vehicle material configurations. We haven't set up how to color change it yet. So with those errors, let's scroll down here. It's gonna give us new errors now. So our new errors are, those errors had to do with me not removing this because I'm not using the end game weird thing how they were doing it. So that's what one of those errors is. And then the next one, I, we haven't set up this base material yet. I just have it blocked out. And, but it goes through and shows design configurations and this is for choosing the color of your vehicle so we could go through right now and unblock comment this we just click this button right here block on comment and we would find the base node of our truck so our truck this is the part that i want colored right the body color and for simplicity we'll go like that bring it up down here probably should be a good role model for you and create a it doesn't really matter where you do it some people like to do it in order but let's create an i3d mapping oh dude. and just to be precise and with the i3d so it's easy to model later on i'll hit body color now we'll go back up to our base material and we'll put our base node as body color the name of it this is up to you to name it so let's just go truck color me so we'll take the, that material name now copy it and then under base material configurations we're just going to use the default colors for right now um, we could add some other colors like you see design materials right here later on but let's just use the basics so you copy that truck color me name because it's assigned to the base node color and then shader parameter this blue is the color that i want to change color these colors are assigned on a vehicle shader xml but i can't recall which one it was um sometimes you can select other ones like the 01 or 02 and choose different colors for different parts of it but i assigned it on the color 01 this guy right here this whole line so because of that i'm going to ensure that this says color mat 01 if i assigned it on the color mat two i would do two wait i assigned it on color mat zero there we go confusing myself sometimes uh i didn't i don't have anything else to color on there i don't think at this time uh, 14 14 would be the wood so we could change out uh your ability to maybe make a lighter wood or a darker wood more of a maple change the different wood colors that would be neat that would be a cool addition to it but for the time being we will just block that out it works the exact same as the base material configuration you would just assign a base material up here you would create a new one Ugh. you highlight that part and copy it and then you would sign a new name assign it to the base node or a different shader parameter as well and then you would go through and fill that material name in right there we better delete that or we will cause an issue when we go to load reload our game really quick let's take a hot peek at other stuff and ensure we are not missing anything index there's still another index somewhere in this mod and i'm gonna search reverse to show you how to do that i'll go to the very bottom and i'll make sure i click on something at the very bottom and then we'll go backward direction and boom i found backdoor parts so we need to create the animation just reminding myself of everything i needed to do with this mod we need to create the animation for the back door to open and in order to do that let's delete out that spline we only have one part that's going to be animated and that will be the back door but i believe we put that under moving parts rear door rear hatch so we need to fit in this collision we'll copy that we'll cut that out of there and then we're going to paste it inside of the gate so when it moves the collision moves and we will stretch it now to fit perfectly for your heart's desire make it a little skinnier and now that we've messed with the collision and you see these scale numbers right here all need to be zeroed or one out we'll hit freeze transformations click scale unclick translate if it's clicked now that is a perfect collision we are going to animate on this node so it drops down like this did i put a face on that yet oh i did put a face on that this model was kind of broken when i got it okay so let's go assign rear hatch 
to this in creating our i3d mapping stealing my name from the top of the mo the object now that we have a rear hatch we're going to scroll back up to our moving do 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 or our animation center animation backdoor animation i'm going to paste that now into there and our start time end time i want that to just be an easy one so you always want this the, the first part when making something like this to be zero and then your end time will be one it'd be one second or two second or three second and our start rotation is going to be zero i do believe zero 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 these three numbers are all zero and we want it to go negative 90 and from there negative 90 on what axis though on the x-axis so from there we can paste that into there negative 90 now when we hit the back door key it'll pull that bad boy out for us and yes yes very awesome very awesome i think we can hit save and we should be getting darn close to error free let's uh oh first things first make sure we reset our animation here uh, back to the zero okay back into here reload and look at that sirs not a single error on that second run you see where we we, we typed in our gs vehicle reload this is now an error for a mod and we, obviously 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 it's not a good mod but it is a error free mod and it looks pretty cool have to go through and do some editing of the tires and all that kind of stuff but i think that is going to be in another video and if you're interested in seeing more videos always go check out my patreon page where i do lots of additional tutorials on there I enjoy you guys. Holy cow, look at that. We didn't even do the back gate. We didn't even do the back gate. We can't end the video yet. I tricked you. We can't end the video yet. We need to assign that cutter. 100% rear hatch. Well, we already made an I3D of it. So now we need to... Oh, uh, that's that's super, super frustrating. But we're going to fix that. New material. Double... We'll hit paste on rear hatch. We're going to name... Uh, that uh, tailgate easy easy squeezy easy squeezy now that we have tailgate we're going to assign in under this base material configurations you create another line and you make another material line and we're just going to paste that into there like that tailgate and now when we load up in game our truck should match the tailgate boom that looks pretty sick that color i like that little kind of cream color let's look at it in the store and see how it turned out uh, i'd like to add a lot more to this fix the tires add different tires to it maybe add some crawlers to it just because we're crazy I, I don't know but there's going to be more videos coming on this bad boy especially if you guys hit the like on it let me know that this is something you enjoy and you want more of options well let's go design color and can we get can we make it color selectable why are you not being color selectable i guess we cannot end the video yet once again base base material configurations oh 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 i do think i know why you go up to here and store items reload i believe let's check that out now yes yes so store items reload to see the changes in the shop there's two different codes there you got so you got vehicle reload and then you have a store item reload vehicle reload only works when you have it purchased that does look good when it's all white like that and we are going to add some more colors in another video and add some special features Ooh, man hot pink Woo, baby look at that sugar schnookums there it's getting there we got to move some tires around ah all right i think that's it later my friends